Thank you for watching. I just wanted to give you a quick demo of a new tool I've been working on called Canines, uh, which is an alternate uh, to uh, Kubernetes CLI to manage your Kubernetes clusters. Uh, Canines is written in Golang. Uh, so let's give it a spin. So if I am yeah, in the right window, I can start uh, Canines uh, CLI by specifying a refresh cycle of two seconds. Uh, so here I get to see uh, all the parts that are running on my current cluster, which is local, uh, running on Minikube. So uh, down here on the second share, I got a make file uh, because I really suck at typing and therefore the, <laughs> the impetus for the tool in the first place. Uh, so here is, you know, a few commands that I got available. So I'm going to go ahead and spin up uh, some services on this cluster. And we should see uh, those ramping up here on our namespaces. So I can, um, using uh, canines, I can actually filter out uh, various namespaces that are available by using number keys. So, for example, one for uh, my default namespace, or four for the monitoring namespace, or three for uh, the kubesystem namespace. And I can still see all the pod going back to zero to see all the pods and see how we're doing. Uh, so you can see still have Grafana coming up. Um, so in the meantime, let's go ahead and um, I guess, you know, um, deploy also some config maps. So down here on my make file, I also have a target for a CM. And before I hit that, I'm going to go in my tool here and type in CM, which is an alias for config maps. And I should be able to see all the config maps that are deployed on my cluster. So now if I filter out on a namespace 4, which is the monitoring namespace, which is where I'm going to put those uh, config maps, I should be able to see the newly created uh, config maps here coming up. So once I get that, I can actually, uh, you know, cruise around, you know, with the cursor and select, you know, one of those config maps and hit uh, conf control V for viewing, which is the equivalent of uh, kubectl uh, get you know, resource name dash o yaml. And here I can see the manifest for that. And I hit control B for going back. And uh, let's go back to our pod view. Hopefully my network connection is still good enough and uh, we'll be able to get uh, Grafana come up, although it doesn't really matter for this demo. Uh, so let's go ahead and play the game. And uh, I'm hopeful that I won't suck too bad since I'm not really good at it. Uh, let's try a few valves here. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, wish, <laughs> I wish you guys uh, were here to help me. Uh, let's see. How about um, uh, G. Oh, cool. Okay, so there you go. Those are dictionaries of Trump words. I hope uh, nobody will get offended by those. Anyway, so now I've got uh, you know my cluster up uh, completely. Let's go ahead and look at this in kubectl, getting all the pods uh, running under the default namespace. I'm going to snag one of those guys, let's say the dictionary, and I'm going to go ahead and delete it. So now we should see uh, K9 is be able to pick up on that event and of course you know that part would be restarted since we have a deployment uh, running uh, on the cluster so uh, let's speaking of those uh, let's go ahead and check them out so deployment alias is dp i can see that uh, all my deployments here are seemingly happy i can also do uh, check out the replica sets for those using rs uh, for alias and here I can see the replica sets and uh, you know everything looks good there as well. So if I go back to the pods, uh, I should be able to select uh, the dictionary service once again. And now I'm gonna actually hit Control L to see the logs. And down here, let me clear this. Hopefully I have, um, I'm gonna hit Minikube. Um, that on that URL for the dictionary service and get a list of words and we can see the logs actually, uh, you know, refreshing. 
I can actually go in and control K for clearing the logs. And then if I hit that URL again, uh, we should see the new logs coming in. Uh, okay, so next uh, we'll go back to the pods. And here I'm showing all the pods in every namespace. And now what I'd like to do is switch cluster. So I want to switch out to one of the clusters I already have using the kubectl, excuse me. So, um, so I can see, say, use context. And I think it's called k 9 azk for my Azure cluster. Uh, let's see, use context, not content. And here I've switched context. So now you can see uh, K9's, you know, picked up on the context switch and now showing the pods now in that new cluster uh, running on Azure. Now that's cool, but uh, you probably want to do that on the CLI and you can. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, switch back here. And now I can type uh, for context, the alias is ctx, ctx. And now I can actually see all the contexts that I've currently defined in my underneath my home directory cube uh, config. So obviously the tool is not going to do so well if you have, you know, multiple configurations or you decided to put configurations somewhere else. Uh, this time I have not implemented uh, support for uh, pointing the tools to other configurations. So underneath here, I can now switch back using Control S for switching back to the Minikube uh, cluster. So now I can see the pods now, which is the deploy pods that we've seen before with the Hangman service. Okay, so that's, I think, pretty cool, in my opinion, in terms of uh, saving you in keystrokes. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, break things. So here I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick up the dictionary. I'm going to specify Control E for edit. So this allows me to edit the manifest. So I can go underneath here and let's board the image. So let's say, you know, some image that probably won't be there. And hopefully, you know, we'll see now that we are in a bad way uh, in terms of that uh, pod within the cluster. So uh, let's see, what can we do? Well, you know, at this point, we'd like to maybe see what the events are on the cluster. So you can navigate to those using uh, EV for events as the alias. And here I'm going to filter out uh, in my default namespace. And let's see if I scroll around here, I should be able to see what's going on with the dictionary. Uh, maybe it hasn't refreshed the event just yet. I'm not seeing um, where it is. Oh, here it is. Okay, uh, probably need to do some more sorting here. I'll fix that uh, on the next drop. Uh, we can see here that it is indeed uh, not happy. All right, so if I go back to the pod view, let's go ahead and fix it. So if I edit uh, the manifest again, uh, go back to the image and let's remove this stuff. And now hopefully the pod will be restarted. And, you know, eventually we're gonna, uh, you know, K9 actually talks to the metrics server, which also must be running on your cluster, otherwise um, bad things will start <laughs> happening. Uh, you'll see that eventually we'll catch up and figure out the current uh, CPU and memory usage uh, for that part will be as we saw with the other parts that we've deployed. Okay, uh, the other thing uh, we can do is uh, look at the services. So uh, this is SVC for Elias. And we can see all our services. And once again, uh, we can, you know, filter out uh, based on the namespace we're interested in. Um, okay, so, you know, uh, most likely you're not going to be able to remember. I, I can't remember what I was doing five minutes ago. So uh, most likely you'll be able to leverage help. Here I can type in a question mark and enter. And this shows me all the current available resources uh, with K9. I don't have at this time everything implemented yet. 
uh, in terms of you know CRD support or uh, other you know standard configuration uh, res uh, standard resources excuse me uh, like uh, you know jobs and cron jobs stuff like that uh, you know I'm planning on adding those uh, pretty soon I think I've got the code I um, still need to uh, uh, brush up on a few things uh, you know the big uh, uh, thing right now is testing which you know I haven't been able to do since I'm trying to rush uh, the delivery here for uh, timing out with KubeCon uh, hopefully a lot of you guys are there and enjoying the, the conference it looked like it was a, a pretty cool event anyway so here I can cruise around uh, let's say I can look at service accounts I've got a custom scheduler here uh, so let's go ahead and look at that service account for that guy and see you know uh, what's involved there I can go back uh, I can also look at um, uh, let's see go back to the help here uh, a few resources so cluster role CRs uh, we can look at those as well and I can introspect in the same way look at the various uh, permissions set up here which is uh, cluster admin I think uh, and then if I go back uh, we should be able to also look at the CRDs. Um, I've got a, a you know Cilium CRD I've deployed. Uh, once again, using Control V, I can actually see the definition uh, for that CRD for Cilium. So that's cool as well. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I think uh, you know if you guys think that's cool, please give me a shout out on Twitter. Uh, my handle is Kitesurfer. And uh, let's see, here is also, uh, let's see, uh, website information. So this is uh, canines. Dot, let's see, I think it's canine.kslan.io. Um, and also uh, GitHub. Uh, let's see, GitHub is uh, GitHub. <sighs> Good job github.com slash k8 land uh, slash k9 and underneath there you should be able to access uh, the release page um, I don't have you know all the distros yet uh, thick windows I haven't really I don't have access to a windows machine so I've not really tested for windows and um, uh, you know didn't deploy therefore an image for that but you know, if you're on the Mac uh, or Unix, uh, you should be able to use those distros. I'm planning to adding, you know, homebrew uh, deploy here pretty sh uh, pretty soon as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope uh, you find this useful and uh, at the very least entertaining watching me, you know, badly type things. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, woof woof. Bye guys. Thank you.